Mrs. Batista the second video. So as I was mentioning, these are macrophylla hydrangeas, also known as mop head hydrangeas, and they have the big four inch circular blooms. Um, this year they got damaged from the uh, getting, we had like a first two weeks of March was super hot and then we got a freeze. So last year's growth um, was all dead and essentially they're not gonna probably bloom that much this year. But I also noticed that they are getting eaten by insects which again, uh, horticultural oils usually suffocate the insects. You usually do two of those sprays a year and that usually does a good job preventing a lot of these common insect problems. But the other issue is knowing how to trim these at the right time of the year. So again, it goes back to an expertise thing as far as, okay, when do we exactly trim the plants at the right time of the year? I noticed your boxwood, you see all the, all the leaves are kind of torn and they're all brown on the top. That's because they weren't trimmed at the right time of the year. And I mean, if you go look at some of our properties, the boxwoods look perfect. So again, knowing how to do it the right way, using sharp blades on the, um, on the hedge trimmers, there's a lot of factors that go into, into it, um, but uh, it's something else to, to you know, make a note of. Okay. Um, so this is all Spicata liriope. Okay, it's more of a ground cover liriope. The tops of these liriope all have last year's winter burn. Essentially, the top quarter of these plants dies off during the winter, and you're supposed to trim just the top quarter of the plant off, so then you don't have any of this dead-looking stuff in the top. Okay. Um, two Kwanzaa cherry trees, these guys here. These are gonna grow much bigger. You just have to keep on aggressively trimming these back. That blood good Japanese maple over here, just way too close to the house. I mean, that's just a baby of what it's gonna be. I mean, that tree wants to grow 40 feet tall, 20 feet wide. So, just something you're gonna have to pay attention to over time. Um, then you have an Annabelle hydrangea back here. Uh, looks like the deer have been chomping on these. That's why you're losing some of the blooms on the top. So you definitely need a deer repellent. Most people don't realize that their that their plants are gonna eat by the deer, but uh, something you should pay attention to because the other thing is they'll mow down all these hosta. The hosta is like candy for them. Um, so in here, the irrigation must not be set right because I think when the architect originally designed this, they were thinking about having more of a ground cover of vinca. Vinca is this little ground cover. It has these little purple flowers. You see one little purple flower there. It has purple flowers in the end of spring, early summer, but this whole bed should really be kind of rethought and, you know, fixed. I mean, you're supposed to have a boxwood hedge going through here, but they used uh, dwarf English boxwood, which have, aren't very hardy in this area. So you really want to use green velvet boxwood if you replace these. It's a dwarf boxwood, but it doesn't have the problem where these all got damaged. And also with these boxwood, a lot of the damage is from the snow and the ice falling off the roof. So um, proper maintenance techniques is what we would do is we would tie this with green string before the winter and then you avoid destroying your boxwoods up against the house. Because now, I mean, if, I was, if it was my house, I would replace all these boxwoods in this area because, you know, a lot of them got snow damage. Other ones just aren't hardy, the wrong type of hydrangea. So that's something, something to consider. Um,